Well, today we're out here at McLean Creek. We hear that the salmon might be running. So hopefully I've got a longer lens. We can take some pictures for you so you can see the salmon as they run through McLean Creek. Run, salmon, run. <laughs> so we're going down this bridge. Took some pictures of some ducks. They were flapping away today. And I talked to a guy down at the other end and he said, the salmon are here. So when we get there, we'll set up and we'll show you salmon. You can't fish them out of here. They just come here to lay their eggs. Actually, they lay their eggs and then they die. Kind of sad. Aww. Yeah. But that's the life of a salmon. It's been raining here quite a bit the last few days, but that's okay because these creeks need to have water for the salmon to swim and the vegetation needs the water to be green. And it certainly is green out here. And that's why it's the evergreen stuff. This is the viewing bridge from here. Look out on the creek and slip on the leaves like I just did. And hopefully, we'll see some salmon. If you can see that salmon down there, but there's one in there. In fact, there's been a bunch. They're hard to see in the water until they start splashing. The thing about these salmon they swim for miles and miles. They come in from the ocean and they find these creeks and streams where they've come back for hundreds, probably thousands of years. And that's where they will uh, lay their eggs. And then the salmon itself will end up dying and the bodies will be by the creek and that they feed other animals that live here in the forest, in the woods. So it's a pretty good uh, ecosystem, unless you're the salmon. That's not such a good deal for you. Swim, 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 miles and miles, and that's it. 
Oh wow, life goes on. Uh, we're walking down here looking for salmon. This is Kennedy, Kennedy Creek? Yes, Kennedy Natural Preserve. Oh, we'll see if we find salmon here. A lot of uphill climb just so we can see some salmon. Better be worth it. Yes, you guys can see some salmon. We seen a dead salmon. It's a lovely walk in the woods. Looking for Sasquatch. On this overcast day, and he just might come running out around the corner. Never know. This is one of those perfect examples for you can't see the forest for the trees. There's a bunch of trees. This is Ed. He's come to direct us because we were totally lost. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Follow Ed. <laughs> well, we had been totally lost. Luckily, Ed came by, gave us the right directions. So now we're going to walk another half mile and see if we can find those dang salmon. I believe this is the directions to get to the salmon. I'm not quite sure I understand them, though. journey begins. That sounds like the name of our new... Embrace the journey. Yes, that's our new name for our channel. Embrace the journey. So, your journey begins here. That's what them little guys look like. Well, they're not little, actually. They're pretty big. I think we're getting closer. Unfortunately, that's the result of what many of these will come to. salmon after they die and they're on the creek. It's all good. Well, that was our trip down to the Kennedy Creek. There are a bunch in there. I don't know how much camera will pick up on them. Karen tried to do some with her cell phone. Hope you got some good ones, Karen. I do too. We shall see. There was a bunch of them in there, though. They're on their final journey. And we are on our, no, well, not our final journey. We're embracing our journey. Yes, we're embracing our journey and we're going to make our way back to the car. This little trip today took us about oh, four miles walking. <laughs> Uphill, downhill, rocky stuff. But we made it. Well, it was an interesting day. It was cool. And it's damp and it's muddy out here so we're gonna get on home back to Lacey have a cup of coffee yeah 
And Karen's making some homemade cookies. I'm gonna pop them in the uh, chocolate chip cookies. So the next time we see you, we'll probably be in our kitchen with coffee cups nice and warm in our hands. And freshly baked cookies. Oh yeah. So we'll see you then. Until you. then, bye bye. Bye bye. Well, we're home and we're drinking coffee. Yum. Warming up my hand. Kevin, Canale, especially for you. Hat, cup. I know how much you like the Yankees. Well, it was a great trip. We saw the salmon. I don't know. You'll see the salmon. I haven't looked at the video yet. I hope they turn out. There'll be some salmon on there. Oh yeah, and I got some with my phone, so that'll be good. And Ed Tromble, if it wasn't for you, we'd probably still be wandering in the woods somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Yeah, thanks for coming out and finding us and getting us <laughs> to the right creek. That helped out a lot. Not sure where we were. <laughs> no idea. And we wanted to let you guys know our membership or our subscribership went up to 87. Yes. Okay, come on, people. Just a few more. We need to make it to 100. Just 13 more gets us to the top. We know you have friends. Ask them to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and what we decided to do is we've changed the, the name of our channel. It had been Townsend Walton. Well, what kind of a name is that? Look at the videos on what channel? Townsend Walton. That's kind of a goofy name. So Karen came up with a great name and it is... Embrace the Journey. Because that's what life is. And that's what we're doing. Everybody has your own life and you have your own journey. So embrace it. Enjoy. People, again, I can't stress this enough. Be safe. <laughs> be healthy. Wear those masks. The uh, pandemic is really going to town. It looks like a, a hay barn on fire. It's just <laughs> spreading. So don't let it hit you. Do everything you can to prevent it. So until next Thursday. See ya. Bye.